Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here, and thank you for joining me today. If you can find your way to see through all these chilly yet beautiful looking snowflakes, the beautiful mountain chalet you see is the vacation home that we're going to be touring today. So a huge welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being with me. If you're new to the channel, I typically release three Sims videos a week that include how to's, builds, build tours, pack reviews, challenge results, and even an LP. So if you like the Sims, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the little bell for notifications below. It'd be an absolute pleasure to have you join the channel. And I also create custom content that you can download from my Tumblr account listed below. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at the links listed below as well. So, all right, today I have a home tour for you of this beautiful mountain chalet, all decked out for Christmas, as you can probably tell, especially if you've noticed the massive tree in what's obviously a great room at the front of the house. And this one is kind of an interesting project for me because it's a collab within a collab. And it's the first one that I've done like that. There's, I think it's 31 or 32 people on the greater collab, give or take. I, we've had some people come and go. And so I'm not sure the final number, but right around there. And that collab is called Winterfest Holiday Group Collab 2018. And it was put together by at Rosebells on Twitter. So definitely check her out. She's pretty cool. And now if I'm being honest, that big collaboration is not a true collaboration in in that we're not all working as a unit, but all of us are releasing a Christmas build or cast project over the 24 days in December leading up to Christmas. And Rose is going to be creating a playlist of all the builds on her channel as they're added to the project. And it's a good group. So, you know, definitely check it out and check out the playlist after you're done with my video, of course. And of course, I'll make sure to link to the other members or to the playlist or both uh, posted below as soon as I get hold of the info. I'm one of the first to post. So as I record this right now, uh, one of the group members is putting together a template of all of the information about the collab. So it's not quite ready yet uh, as I'm doing this recording, but uh, I'll make sure that it gets in there as soon as it's available. So now on to the collab within a, the great big collab within the, the Winterfest collab. So this one is between Mena Buchner and myself. She was invited to join the Winterfest collab, but since she doesn't have a YouTube channel, she and I joined together so that I could essentially be the representative for her portion of the project. And we knew I was going to do a build. That was a given. So the thought was that it made sense for Mena to create a family and for us to join the two together. So we'll start off today with Mena's Lakota family, which consists of Kangi, who is of Sioux Indian heritage and is a well-respected archaeologist. Then there's his wife, Krista, who he met in his second year of study at university, where she was studying design and fashion. They had an almost cliched romance in that neither had eyes for anyone else after they met. And they dated throughout their time at university. And then they got married in a fairy tale ceremony at Winnenberg Bluffs. And the next few years sped by as Kangi progressed in his career and Krista went on to become a sought after and highly influential designer. And now Kangi, he's a family oriented guy, also the active outdoorsy type, which is part of the reason that we find ourselves at this beautiful chalet, more or less kind of in the middle of nowhere. The man loves nature. And as an archaeologist, he definitely enjoys remote regions. And Krista is just as family oriented as Kangi, maybe even more so. Parenting is totally her thing, which makes these yearly trips to the chalet one of the most important things to both of them because it's time exclusively for them as a family. And now speaking of their family, a few years into the marriage, they had their first child, a son they named Kohana, who was swiftly followed by a daughter they named Wyona, Wynona. Now they doted on their children and life could not have been better for the Lakota family. Kohana and Wynona have both made them proud. Like his dad, Kohana is the active type. He loves to work out and has a bod that is most definitely easy on the eyes. Just saying. But unlike anyone else in the family, he's got a wonderful, surprising amount of musical talent. He sings and he plays both the guitar and the piano. And he even started to sing at the open mic nights on Wednesdays at the bar where he bartends. And on Friday nights, he participates in their band jam sessions. So he loves it too. And he's hoping like hell that he'll get picked up by a talent scout one night. 
So fingers crossed on that. In the meantime, both his looks and musical talents grant him a lot of female attention, and that tends to keep him busy on his off time. So Kahana is doing pretty well for himself. And Winona is the one everyone in the family likes to be around. She is a sweetheart, one of those types that spreads joy to everyone wherever she goes. She's very playful, great sense of humor, maybe even a little goofy, but with the ability to put everyone at ease. And she's also exceptionally great with animals, and she's hoping to own a vet vet clinic one day. Now, she and Ziggy, the family's Dalmatian, are very close. She's the one in the family that does all of his training, both in regular discipline and in agility. And speaking of Ziggy, this is Ziggy. He's got cute down pat. He's also a smart little bugger and very loyal to the family. So anyway, Kangi and Krista have this family going, and they're getting ready to be empty nesters, you know, with both of the kids heading off to college, until, oops, not one, but two new little bundles of joy entered their lives. Fraternal twins, a girl and a boy they named Micah and Chatan, and Micah was born exactly one minute before Chatan. Micah is an inquisitive little girl, and Chatan has a little wild streak that Kangi is absolutely convinced is due to his Sioux warrior heritage. Either way, both of the little ones keep Krista and Kangi on their toes constantly. And that's the Lakota family by Mena Buchner. And one we're looking at here is the Mountain Chalet they go to every year to celebrate Christmas as a family together. So we're coming in on a cold, snowy evening. And the Lakota family is already here for their vacation. So we may see them around either inside or outside during the tour. And man, just look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I hate the cold, mind you, but snow scenes in this game, I I don't know. They're just awesome to me. And this is my first time looking at this build in the snow as well. So yeah, I love how it looks. And the whole concept on this build, like the entire premise for this whole build was it was supposed to be a Christmas build. And so the vision I had in my head when I started, I didn't have any vision for a while. Actually, I was a little stressed about this build because I, I didn't, I didn't have anything. It took a little while for something to come to me. But the thing that came to me, whoops, we got a little anger management thing here. So um, anyway, the thing that came to me was that I wanted to do like a log home type place with a two story great room with a massive tree. And so the rest of the home was all built around that great room, massive tree idea. So yeah, so that's how that went. And so before I walk in, I just wanted to to point out something that I noticed, you know, we don't have snow depth so much in this game. Uh, but what's kind of interesting is I noticed lighting, right? Because I'm a photographer, so I have a tendency to notice lighting. So one thing that's sort of interesting to me is that this car in the front, it doesn't have a shadow here course now we just lost our evening lighting but there's no shadow here at all which is giving the illusion that the snow is like approaching the bumper so I just thought that was kind of interesting but anyway I just realized my entire family is going to be miserable if I don't if I don't make them happy real quick so and I wanted to leave it on while you know leave them in here and on while we look at the house so you know we can maybe run into the family a little bit like for instance Ziggy, who's just running in the house right now, and one of the kids who is obviously making a mess of the foyer before we get there. Isn't that wonderful? We're going to have a house tour with an exceptionally messy foyer, apparently. Child's messy. Oh, yes, definitely messy child. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's taking care of it. So anyway, we're coming to the foyer. We can see we're all decorated for Christmas in here. Blue accents, child mess, cute little snowman. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the foyer with Kangi apparently being very good mopping up the mess. And so the main room in the house, the, the great room is right here with the fireplace, the main TV decorations going all the way up. So it's a two story great room. And obviously I'll have to back up. We'll, we'll see the, the whole tree later when we move further back. So anyway, we come in through here. We have the dining room in here. And it's done up for Christmas. Everything's done up for Christmas, of course. Nice big kitchen for the family. 
nice big kitchen island and everything. They have a bar here. This for a vacation home, they found this several years ago and they've been coming here for quite a while and it's got everything they need, everything the family needs. It's pretty perfect. It even has a piano for Koana right there, which is great. You know, so he can, he can do that. And the bar too, he's actually a bartender. So he takes care of that part. The people that rent this place out, they're good with them having pets here. So the dog is able to come with them. So that's pretty perfect. And so back here we have the stairs. So this is, this basically just goes around. I should give you the view. That's why I actually walked back here was to give you the view. So we can kind of see outside a little bit. We will visit the outside uh, after we're done with the interior. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that part of it. Go around. And this is where the two teenagers stay. So Winona stays in this room. And it's pretty well equipped. It's it's good for a girl. She brings a few of her things because they're here for a little while. They, they stay for a couple of weeks. So she brings a few of her little wall hangings and stuff with her. And so, yeah, so this is her room. And for builders that are looking a at this and wanting to know or people wanting to know about download and whatnot, um, this does have a lot of CC, especially the flooring and the wall coverings. Most of it, a lot of it is CC. I wanted to do a nice carpet in here throughout because it's it's kind of lodgy. You know, it's a chalet. It's kind of lodgy. And I wanted to give it kind of a warmer, more homey feeling. I wanted to feel very winter. You know, it's Christmas. Christmas. We're going to do it for Christmas. And so obviously this room is, is blue and this is Kawana's room and he brings his guitars and his mic with him while they go away so that he can use that stuff. So they all bring a few things, a few personal things. So to make their stay better, I'm going to go in the bathroom over here. Whoops. So yeah, so this is, this is the downstairs bathroom. And as you can see, this place is just, they love it because it's done perfect for Christmas and they don't have to decorate by staying here. The, the place is decorated for them. So they don't have to decorate. Oh, I was coming around this way to show you the tree from this side. So there we go. So that's what it looks like from this side with the tree all the way. And now we shall go around kind of back the way. We'll, we'll go in a big circle back around to the stairs up back in the back to um to go up those stairs and show you the the loft area and the loft area is basically the games and play area we were going up the stairs so obviously we come up to the back of the fireplace so that's not overly thrilling but yeah this is ziggy looks like he's having fun up here man so this is the games area for the family essentially like this is this is the activity area is the loft so it's an open loft again it's carpeted for warmth oh man when we're in this mode we can't see the tree okay well i'll have to go into this mode to show us the tree unfortunately well that's kind of a bummer but yeah, so there's there's the tree from above. Too bad we can't see it in the other camera mode. But yeah, so the loft area is basically a lot of stuff for them to do. And then the outside is just, there's a little deck out here. And here we go with the camera flying everywhere. Just a tiny little deck out here. And there's one on each side. I'll just go to the other side of the loft in this camera mode. And here's the other little deck. And then so this side of the, the loft has some more games and stuff for both the adults and the toddlers here. There's there's a bunch of play area for toddlers and all of that stuff. And and yeah, so the adults can hang out over here. And as we can see, we're all decked out for Christmas everywhere. And you get a nice view of the whole downstairs. We can see the family playing downstairs and all of that stuff. And so now I will go back into our other camera mode for this part of the tour. So this place has a lot for everyone in the family to do. It's got the whole loft with all the stuff. It has a room up here for the toddler. So each of the kids have their a room downstairs for them. And then this room is pretty perfect for toddlers. So the family finds this perfect because it meets all of their needs. So yeah, so that's the little toddler's room. And then the next room is a super bonus. They have a sauna in this house. 
So this is great for the adults, obviously. Uh, the, the little toddlers don't use that space, but it's good for the adults if they can find some time. They have to, of course, you know, have have the older kids babysit the younger ones to be able to enjoy that stuff. But so this is their room. This is where, where they stay. And back here, we have a huge walk-in closet for them. So that's their space. Of course, they're only here for a couple of weeks out of the year, but still, it's nice to have all the space. And then this here is the upstairs bathroom. And yes, that's a CC shower too for the builders or the people that want to download. That is a CC shower. I love that thing too. I love being able to have something that isn't the standard. We need more variety. And let's see. Okay, so we covered this whole section. So, oh, I missed one room up here before we get to the attic. The, they have a furnished attic space. It's not huge, but it's a, it's a space. And so they have laundry over here, obviously. So a little laundry room. And then here they have kind of, it's sort of like a bonus area going up in the attic. So we go through these doors and we go up these stairs into the attic. Whoops, that was lovely camera motion. Sorry about that. Hopefully I did not make anyone sick. But so mom and dad refer to this place as solitary or sanctuary. And it's their favorite place in the whole house. And it's because this is where they go. They take turns coming up here to get away from everyone else <laughs> and just get some quiet when they need some, some time and some space. Not that they don't want to all be together, but you know, a couple of weeks with the whole family together, everyone needs some solitude now and then. And so this has the, the computer for the adults. The kids have their tablets, you know, but this has the computer for the adults, library, reading room, little bar in case anyone needs a drink when they come up. And then we have a couple of bonus things down here. We have in this room, and I'll show you guys later from the top, but this is basically, actually I'm in the top now. I don't know why the basketball is doing that, but this is just a storage closet. You can tell it's a vacation home. All the vacation stuff for storage. And so further down this hall, we have the gym machine, the, the workout machine here. Dad uses, it's the only other person in the house that uses that is Kiwana. So that's, whoops. He will ask special permission to come up here because mom and dad have designated this, this space theirs. So he needs special permission to come up. But so they have a separate bathroom up here, just a half bath. I'm on third floor. So the camera motion, it starts to get really weird when I get up to the third floor. It starts to go really fast. And then this room obviously is their Zen room. And so they use this room to give each other nice romantic massages and all of that. So mom and dad have a good time up here. They're not necessarily super into to yoga or meditation, but a, definitely the massage they enjoy when they, when they rent this place and come up here. So and we have the snow outside and the sun inside. So this is meant to make you feel nice and warm and cozy. And now I'm going to give you guys the overhead. Okay, so we are going from the top down. And don't you love that the chimney actually smokes? I love that in this. Totally love it. So anyway, attic floor. Here we go. We have a little bit of a funky attic space, but they furnished it. They got it done. I'll turn around. I think we get a little bit of a better look from this side here. We can see this was the part that I was trying to highlight before. They have a storage area that you can tell is all, you know, vacation stuff and all that. But they have kind of this door here that obviously someone would have to clear out. But you could get back here to this additional storage space as well. So if anyone wants to play this home or download it or something like that, eliminating all the storage stuff in this, in these two areas would probably dramatically reduce the cost of this place. So, cause all of that's just for show and the grass outside, there's a ton of it and there's a lot of rocks. You could save a lot of money. That's all I'm saying, but I don't build to a budget. So. <laughs> anyway, so that is the third floor. Let's take a look down at the next floor. We can see the beautiful loft area, nice big loft area. Our rooms here, the loft area is definitely, and the just being able to see to, to downstairs, it's my favorite part. And then down to the first floor. 
And there we have all of that space there. And I'll turn around so we can see the fireplace and all of that from above. Yeah, looking good, looking good. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys what this place looked like during the day without all the snow and in the sun and everything. And so yeah, it looks pretty. I like the way it looks anyway, even even without the snow. Can tell I did a ton of terrain manipulation on this one front and back. I have multi-tiered stairs all over the place. You can see them all back here. Everywhere, even going up to the horseshoe pit. So yeah, I kind of went a little off on the terrain manipulation on this one. Did find they, they have some errors and some fixing that they still have to do. But man, isn't it great being able to do something like this with, with the terrain manipulation? It makes it so much more dynamic. So anyway... All that said, if you like this build, if you like this video and all that stuff, please do remember to hit that like button before you leave and comment. Tell me what you think of it. Share, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. All that stuff helps us YouTubers out a ton and I appreciate it a whole bunch. Thanks so much for spending the time with me today and I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.